leave him alone? Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's, not, let's not bring the monkey. I want you to sign my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to sign my ass. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own business? Hey, babe, what do you say? We going out Saturday night? Stewie, what are you doing here? I told you I'm just into a different type of guy. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what you're into. Being ugly. Stewie, you're being mean. No, if I was being mean, when you opened the door, I would have said, Oh, hey, Ray Liotta, is Olivia home? Oh, wait, you're Olivia. You see, I thought you were Ray Liotta because your skin has the texture of a decorative autumn squash. <laughs> so I'll pick you up at seven. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. Hey, Goldman. Great job with sports today. Thanks, Chris. We're almost ready for the important sports game. Hey, guys. Hey, Ruth. Good gender fluid shower? Great gender fluid shower. Dad, what are you doing here? Putting my gender fluid in the shower. Also, I'm the town sheriff, but you don't find that out till later because it's not relevant to the story. Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies nonstop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. Hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow, meow noises and everything. I love them already. Yeah, but Brian's been eyeing them pretty good. What? Yeah, and I got to go to work now, so I hope he's not, like, hungry or nothing. This is your captain speaking. We've discovered a shoe bomb on board. We're going to have to return to the turn. Well, let me first start by saying y'all's doing your relationship a huge favor by coming to couples counseling. Now, why don't y'all start by each trying to suck up to me so I can choose who I'm all side with? Well, I'm Stuart, and I would love to offer you a freshly baked brownie. Mmm. Oh, my. Someone's already in the lead. I'm Chris. I'm somehow both signing the checks and always wrong. See, this is why we came, right? It's this all day. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. You're under the canoe in Quagmire's yard. Son of a bitch! Welcome to your first toddler pageant, Stewie. It's what you do when you're in Texas. Oh, lovely. A first-class ticket to a semen-covered death in the basement. Why don't you meet the other contestants while I go register you? Hello, I'm, uh, Stephanie Griffin. Hi, Stephanie. What's your talent? I sing, I do gymnastics, and I can play seven instruments at the same time. Hmm, you could be a threat to me. Chuck! Unit 17, this is base. Please report. 10 4, everything's Charlie 4060. What does that mean? I don't know. I just thought you're supposed to say names and numbers. Nobody's corrected me so far. Ah! What the hell was that? Uh, help! Help! Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Charlie Tango Cash, uh, 47 Victor Charlie, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Roger that. We're moving to your position. Ah! Gotcha! Ha! Hepatitis C! Joke's on you. I already got it. Meningitis. I'm a carrier. Gonorrhea. Patient zero. You're gonna have to do better than that. I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Wow, I really messed up. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign.
I'm so happy you all could make it tonight. We will have many things you will nibble at and not eat. Then I will give you a pizza. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hey, can we watch that last episode of Winter Summer now? We will watch together after dinner. In the meantime, feel free to watch Korean pop videos. <laughs> What is this, and how can I make the rest of my life about it? Let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. My job, I lost my house, my wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Fine, then, I'll go by myself. See you from the back of my milk carton. Want that on your conscience, Brian? Try explaining this to Lois. You'll wind up in a dumpster with a bunch of slow, unadoptable greyhounds. Don't joke about that. That's like the Holocaust to us. Yeah, well, when greyhounds start running the New York Times and the World Bank, I'll be more inclined to believe you. Now, are you coming or not? Ah, <sighs> fine. Take to the highway, won't you lend me your name? Who sings that song? James Taylor. Yeah, let's keep it that way. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. First, he's got to swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Now don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Oh, hey, Quagmire, how was Florida? Oh, it was great. And guess what? I smuggled a whole bunch of fireworks back in my anus. Uh, Quagmire, fireworks aren't illegal here. You could have just put them in your car and driven them up here. Oh, yeah, that's just as fun. Lois is the only woman for me. Well, then it sounds like you've got to find a way to win her back. Yeah, like, like we could get her drunk and take turns having sex with her. How would that help me? Oh, help you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, then no, no, that, then that, that wouldn't help you. Ooh. Ooh. My ass. Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? Black <laughs> guy. How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. I had a wedding. Oh, uh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh my god, Peter! What the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost! Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? <coughs> ah, dang it. Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. Lois, I know how many beers I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. Seven. Six. Do 
think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you! To us, cows are sacred! That's right! You are disrespecting our entire culture! And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now, now let's, let's get out of here. Let's see wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Flight 85 to Providence is now departing. That's not going to stop me! Hey, Frenchie, is my fort ready? Yes, Mr. Griffin, even though no one else has any pillows now. All right! Hi! Cookie? No, no, actually it's Stewie, but well, you, you can call me Cookie if you like. <laughs> yes, I, yes, yes, I've also been known to answer to Artemis, Agent Buckwald, and Snake. Yes, yes, I, I rather like Snake. Snake Griffin. Mumkin Tukuni Mirati. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What wrong with you? I say you, he did. Beep, beep. Oh, jeez, did I just hit that ostrich? No. Are you sure? Yeah, he's fine. Keep going. Come on, guys, wait up! Oh, dang, I got honey all over my legs. It's a girl. C can you can you check again? Hi, I'm William Shatner. My car broke down while I was on my way to give a speech about how TV keeps families together. Say, would you like to hear it? Ah, uh, it was you. Rafty swine. You BS! <laughs> Little bastards ain't as smart as- ah! Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now hang on a second there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Bravo! Sorry, Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. All right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. Speed, I do not think you should be in this race. Ha-ha, the Mach 5 is not ready. Ha-ha. But, Pops, I must be in this race. Ha-ha. Very well. Uh, but you know I am not really your father. Ha-ha. Oh. Damn it, Julie. I am not shacking up with my boyfriend. I am just going away for the weekend. Yeah. All the away. <laughs> Woo! Oh, damn, Schneider. What won't you say? And the cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon. Little, Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, son. You know. Ah, ah, oh my God! Ah, oh my God. Ah, oh my God. Ah. We were sailing along on Moonlight Bay. We could hear the voices singing. They seem to say the vessel goes to one hundred million dollars. <laughs> Mr. Peter Griffin for an astonishing one hundred million dollars! Money, money! Money! Hey, shut up! No, you shut up! No, you shut up! You shut up! You're the one talking! Well, there's no one else here! Look, everybody, just shut up! <gasps> What's that? The wind! The Pacific Rim economy is still a tad shaky for my taste. Oh, oh, stop it, stop it! Now, look here, you can't become a bloody fiscal hermit crab every time the Nikkei undergoes a self-correction. Asia's market has nowhere to go but up. Interesting.
Indeed. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. It, yeah? Damn, it's not here. Eh, not here either. Wagmire. Dee Dee. Cleveland. Joe. Bonnie. Lois. Cleveland. Lois. Bonnie. Quagmire. Peter. <clears throat> Loretta. Uh, let's see, Stanley Starkweather Stevens. Mm, Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? <laughs> a 20-minute call to Larchmont? What do we know in Larchmont? My sister-in-law. Oh, yes, right, right, Carol. Yes, that's right. How is Carol? Yeah, that felt good driving me hard in the couch like that. It was a moving scene today at Hatch Pond as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately it died shortly after. I'm the king of the water! Ah, 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 damn it! ¿Quién es esto? Él es la respuesta de mis oraciones. Por qué? Ah. Okay, okay, he, wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's good one. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. You haven't heard a word I've said. Now that's not fair. I've heard everything you've said. It's just, you know, there's some subtleties to the rules that aren't so easy to understand. Hark, hark. Okay, that's it! And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Oh, 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 they spotted me. Okay, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'll be Charlie, and you can all be my angels. Except you. You'll be Bosley. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. You are ruining our society, and you should be ashamed. Ten banana cream pies. Chris, everything I say is a lie. Except that. And 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 that. Careful, Joe. Get the 10 gauge. Man, I've never handled one of these before. Oh! Look at this, Lois. See, right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. Hey, Lois, give me a penny. You're not gonna throw it over the edge, are you? No. Yes. <laughs> Work of art? Or container of crazy purple knockout gas? I'm not really a woman.
I'm a horse. Oh my God, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. Lois, Lois, women 25 to 49, they see you as a role model. Really? Absolutely. What about me? Oh, <laughs> you. Well, yeah, sort of lost, right? Yeah, I turned out great. Huh? Am I right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm right. Y you want arm wrestle? Come on, right now. We'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> I think you've had about enough. Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm I'm serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. Don't miss the seriously wicked bull run in South Attleboro, Mass. You and your friends can run from a bunch of live bulls and lots of times there's a chick whose boob comes out. Hey Joe, wasn't this your round? Sure. I'll wheel over to the bar and bring back your beers one by one in my lap. You guys, we are so doing that bull run. You know, some people are okay with the drive through car wash. Me? I'm a fan of the hand job. Hi, I'm Brian. Yes, I like to have fun with language. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh. This will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Look, Joe, we didn't want to tell you, but we're going to the seriously wicked bull run. We didn't invite you because we didn't think you could keep up. Come on, my handicap has never held me back. I'm coming with you guys. Joe, you peed in your bag while you said that. Wow. That was amazing. Hey, I, uh, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. Oh, crap. My husband's home early. Wait a minute, you're married? And he's here? Now? You got a dog? Uh, yeah. I rescued him from the pound. Roar, roar. Oh, my God, that was close. Yeah, but think about it. As long as he thinks you're our new pet, we can keep fooling around behind his back. We clearly overdressed. They have the type of fat white woman here that not even I am interested in. Ah, I shouldn't have worn high heels. Oh, stop it. You look great. Oh, well, I didn't want all this attention. Woo, this is amazing. I told you guys I could do it. Joe's completely paralyzed! Oh, that's me. You guys, I've been trying to keep my birthday a secret. No, Dr. Hartman, we're not here for your birthday. We're here for Joe. I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes, Mr. Swanson has lost all movement and will require around-the-clock care. I'm leaving Joe and moving to Europe. I didn't sign up for this. Buddy, wait! God, this is awful. What am I gonna do? Coming up, quintuplets born at Quahog General. What? That's, oh, that's supposed to be burn? Oh. Wow, he really has no idea. Hey, want to take a shower with me? Sure. Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. It'd be that one. So before we go, I'm going to put the remote in your mouth. What are you talking about? He's fine. Look, he's already watching The Price is Right in there. Oh, he's biting too hard on the volume. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Joe, you can't just sit here. You need intellectual stimulation. So I brought something to read to you. Look, this whole page is all the Wayans brothers sitting in different positions. How you suppose they come up with all their positions? You enjoying all this, Joe? I'm honestly just glad it seems like you have something you like. Mm. Oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. I need you, boy. Now more than ever. I think my wife is cheating on me. God, what a nightmare. That guy's even scarier than a thesaurus thesaurus. Peter, this just isn't working. We can't take proper care of Joe. It's a huge amount of work, and we don't have any idea what we're doing. And we've reserved a place for him at the state home for mentals and bastards. Oh, my God. Sometimes they whip them with hoses. Yeah, this is Joe Swanson. We arranged for a 915 dump off. Go on, guys. Get out of here. I'll be fine. You know, that, that state home we left Joe in didn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's got to be good. 
I mean, Napoleon Bonaparte was there. Hufflepuff. Housing for registered sex offenders. Ah. He's lost his mind. That's why I'm gonna go stay with my mother in Baltimore and work at her wife's bar. Wait, what? Tori, come back! You gotta help me. Her husband's a maniac, and the only reason he hasn't killed me is because he thinks I'm just his pet dog. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Yeah, ma yeah maybe. Maybe. Do you, uh, you, you want a back rub? Peter, what's going on? We may or may not have put Joe in a smelly home for the Goofy. What? Peter, those places are a horror show. Oh, hello, sir. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. I believe you found our dog, and we need to take him home. No way. Get lost, kid. Give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. What are you guys doing here? We came to bring you home, Joe. We're all really sorry we abandoned you. Sorry, no one gets out of here without a release from their doctor. All right, we'll just call him right now. Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine. It turns out Dr. Hartman's cell phone was pressing on my spinal cord, and that's what was causing my total paralysis. Many of my customers are your mommies and daddies. Jimmy Hopkins, your mother had awful postpartum depression after you were born. Thank you. Cool, I want to be a pharmacist. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Mr. Goldman. And our final speaker is Mr. Peter Griffin. Boo! Why, you little snot -nosed... Mr. Griffin! He plays kickball in the park after school. Get him there. So does anyone have any questions? And now here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Thanks, Ollie. Peter, how was your big presentation at Chris's class? It was a huge waste of time. Well, it couldn't have been that bad. It was terrible. Peter, if you're not satisfied, then be more assertive. Invite Mr. Weed over for dinner and show him what you have to offer the company. Come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38? God, I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! State your names. Meg. Chris! And I'm Liesel. Mr. Weed, the Griffin children would like to say goodnight to you. Goodbye! Mmm, who would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emerald Lagasse? Ah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <coughs> All right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search. Just, just stall him, Lois. Uh, hey, did someone choke on a roll in here? Oh no, no, no! I, I, I spit it up. Oh. I'm Leonard Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. We found this tape among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. Oh, sorry, we're out of towels. Uh, let, let me get that for you, sir. Has Dad found a permanent job yet? Meg, your father's going through a bit of a career transition. He's just sampling a few things. Hey, that get in the car. OK, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? If I hadn't pushed you so hard to invite Mr. Weed to dinner, he'd still be alive and you'd still have your job. Don't worry, Lois. We'll get through this. Well, I've saved some money from teaching piano, and I say this is the perfect time for you to pursue that dream. Really? Yes. Wow. I'm gonna do it, Lois. I'm gonna realize my dream. I am gonna be a Renaissance Fair jouster. Oh, Peter. Oh, egg salad. Have a good time. I'll try. What is it? It's a cheeseburger. <laughs> I wandered around for hours and somehow ended up at the Renaissance Fair. I can fly! Oh, my God. The path to knighthood is paved with strength and nobility, not LSD and sideburns. I wanted to be a knight like him. You all think you got what it takes to be jousters? Well, if you're gonna joust, you gotta want it. Let me hear your war cry. Uh, uh. <laughs> you find something funny, maggot? Sir, no, sir. You love the Middle Ages, don't you? Sir, yes, sir. Welcome, apprentices. <gasps> it's him. Look alive, ladies. Allow me to introduce the best of the best. I, I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I was a kid, you helped me get my life back on the right path. Ah! Damn it! Hey, you, drunky. Yes, that's right. I'm calling you drunky, and there's nothing you can do about it because I'm pretty. Ah! 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go practice. Ah! Oh my God, Dad, my earring! Dad, stop! Ah! There you go. Jeez, freaking perverts. Madeline, go wait in the Hyundai. What's, what's your problem, BK? I don't like you. I don't like your face, and I don't like you hanging around my girl. I don't ever want to see you here again. Peter, what are you doing? I spent hours soldering that costume for you. I don't need it anymore, Lois. And we were all set to come see a joust today. You were so excited to be on the same field as the Black Knight. Well, I'm gonna be watching it from the stands, Lois. Hey. How you doing there, big guy? You holding up all right? It looks like the Black Knight is out of challengers and is once again undefeated. Hey, what's your fat ass doing here? Hey, we're just watching, all right? I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble if you don't beat it. Listen, buddy. I said get lost. Uh, uh, to the owner of a yellow Hyundai, your car is being towed. What? I won't! Take that, you bastard! Nobody makes a fool out of Mort Goldman. Spectacular performance, maggot! Remember that episode of The Honeymooners when Ralph lost his job, but at the end of the show, he didn't get it back? Oh, yeah, what was up with that? That, that bugged the crap out of me. Ah, the record store. Full of the greatest albums of all time and the employees who hate every one of them. He had the good sense to die before we could see him at the Pachanga Casino and go, oh, my God, that's him? What's your name? Jim Morrison, light my fire. Wait, wait a minute, wait, what'd you just say? Say that again. Light my fire? Yeah, that. Easily manipulated runaway, coming through. Screw you guys. I'm following that lady and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm Charles Manson. What's your name? Jim Morrison, kill Sharon Tate. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Say that again. Well, Jim, I'm flattered you broke into my home, but I have a serious boyfriend and I think you should leave. But I'm a rock star. The caterpillar. A tiny hair snake? Nay because of his many, many legs. Now, I do have a boyfriend, but I'm also a free spirit. That's my fun little way of saying I'm a slut. Oh, Jim. Call me the Lizard King. <sighs> the only thing that calmed his nerves was what everyone was using back then. Strawberry Nesquik. Drink! Uh-oh. <laughs> my fart's stuck in the pants. Hello, I'm someone with no knowledge of music who is somehow controlling the music industry. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. We're here to make an album, not a poster. <clears throat> She's beloved by everyone close to me and prides herself on not messing with a good thing. I'm just gonna get out of the way and let you guys do your music. You won't even know I'm here. You guys want to see something? Want to see if it's as big as they say it is? Like every man who can't find his penis, Jim Morrison moved to Paris. I'ma educate y'all on the greatest rocker of all time, Delta Blues man, Muddy Drawers. They all had to share one room and one mustache. That one guitar string was also the family belt. Toby Maguire's kid goes there. You see him sometimes dropping off. Not all the time, but sometimes. Sign here and you'll be the greatest guitar player who ever lived. All it'll cost you is your soul. So Buddy went out and created a new sound, the sound of rock and roll. record contract. He was given a white driver. The record company chose an Italian-American man. I'm trying to write a nice letter to my wife, Marjorie, but I never been any good with... Damn it, what are those things? Words? I can't wait to get home and back that big, fat ass up. 
back, back. Yours, Vinny. Ultimately, Vinny went his own way with the letter. And though the trip was soon over, a friendship was formed that transcended race. I stole all your songs, and my real name is Elvis Presley. That son of a bitch! Damn you, Elvis Presley. I gotta get to a stool for the one old-timey black guy musician photo anyone will ever know me by. Looks like he's gonna do one next. You're gonna let the baby do one? Oh, I'm sorry. Are your children funny? No. Uh, yeah, I think so. Damn, I'm good. Elton John, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Elton, I'm telling you this because I love you. You'll never find someone to love you. Bernie was married three times in a desperate bid to convince the world he was not a homosexual. Together, we are gonna make me millions. Sounds fair to me. Let's get to it. Well, dude, Nelm was heavily involved in the L.A. party scene. And things took a dark turn one night when he and Bernie went to a party in the Hollywood Hills. Let's stop so we don't have to walk with him the whole way. When they said this party was far out. If you leave me right now, it's a big deal. Because this is the time of the story where that's a big deal. What'd you say? Looks like your husband's gonna be all right, Mr. I've been uh... married three times. I'm Bernie Toppin. What do they look like now, credits montage? Well, we can, but I'm not sure you'll like it. That's what I look like? Let's just make fun of Sean Hannity again. He looks like a guy who just OD'd on Just For Men. Steve, Steve Paul, Paul, George, Bob, and, and Robin. Ringo. Who? Steve, Dale, Bob, and Robin. The Trash Men. Oh. Here comes the hot stepper, murderer. I'm the lyrical gangster, murderer. Excuse me, Mr. Officer, murderer. You love you like that, murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I, I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> Hello? You? What are you looking at, you... You infantile, stupid... That's right. Damn you and such. You can... You burn in hell. You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, pollute our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Ha. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh! Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's gonna happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Nice work, rookie. You're a credit to the force. Additional generic cop compliment, Brian. Ha, huh, thanks. But the real hero here is God for blessing me with this nose. And a few other equally amazing appendages. <laughs> Peter's tie, Peter's tie. That's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's it. No time, you <laughs> yeah. I've been observing your behavior, and I don't think you're an addict. I think you're an idiot. Well, I don't pay you to think, Hot Lips. In fact, I don't pay you at all. Count it. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? Oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh.
Well, well, then, then, then what about that post-it? It says the graph was not made in art class. We really do want kids to start smoking. But, Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all 50 states in a quarter of a second. Ah! He endeavors to score by dashing between the creases, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Did anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information regarding the suspect should contact Quahog police immediately. And I'm gonna be... high. As a kite by then. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. Didn't work. What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. Cleveland! I mean, cheese its Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Jeez, bringing that trash in here. This is my house. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? Uh, how, you want to dance? Uh, Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <clears throat> Butterfingers. Better hurry up, Mr. Tucker. I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for a spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? Hey, did you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. He's in a coma. Oh man, I want to party with him. You man. know it! Yeah! You! 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 A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Gah! I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh! Boom Boom, did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you yipes! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois, you can't spell love without L O. You can't spell is without I S. You can't spell silo without Lois. Last week's spelling tests, and it looks like Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang, that is some smart pig. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old. <laughs> Warm out today. Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating sea breeze. Oh no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. 
Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 God. Ah! Oh! Well, watch out. We got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you. I cut you up so bad. You, you're going you're gonna to wish I no cut you up so bad. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That that was, um, me farting. Damn, this itches. I wonder who gave it to me. Probably that skank who needed a ride to the gas station. Last time I do somebody a favor. Oh, God, they must have heard me. Oh, God, I can hear me. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner fudge is made. <laughs> Where's your father and Chris? It's not like them to be late for lunch. Mm, I think they left a note. Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Oh, you're awake. Hey, uh, can you hear me the pretzels? Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Do I hear 135, 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> hey, everything okay in there? I heard shouting. Dog, answer it. Tell him, yes, everything's fine. Yes, Joe, everything's fine. Oh, okay, good. Make fun of his wheelchair. What? What? Do it! Say, ha 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 ha, you're in a wheelchair. Ha 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 ha, you're in a wheelchair. What's that supposed to mean? Say, I bet you can't get a boner. I bet you can't get a boner. That's not very nice, Brian. Neither is your mother's ass. Neither is your mother's ass. Well, I'll give you that one. Now tell him you've always thought he was handsome. I've always thought you were handsome. Well, I gotta tell you, Brian, I'm relieved to hear you say that. Please call me if you see any sign of Stewie. Tell him, ha 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 ha, just kidding about the handsome thing. Oh, come on. Do it! Come on, that meant a lot to him. Ha 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 ha, just kidding about the handsome thing. Ah, well, that's, uh, disappointing. I needed that boost today. All right, I'll see you later. Hey, Joe, where you been? We haven't seen you in days. Uh, ever since Mayor West deployed the police to Cartagena, yeah, I've been working non-stop. The only reason I didn't have to go myself is that South America isn't wheelchair accessible. Drop it, creepo. Don't move, Catherine Deneuve. Freeze Reno, Paul Sorvino. What are you doing, Mr. Swanson? I'm trying out some cop entrances. Okay, Bonnie. One, two, three, push! Yeah! Whoa! My God, I can walk. It's a miracle. Sorry, Dad. Just get the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some, get some. Yeah, sex, sex, sex. Oh, Joe, that was amazing. I know. I was there. My God, we haven't done it in so long. I'd forgotten how big you were. I was going to say the same thing to you. Oh! oh my god, Joe! Joe, you're too heavy! I can't hang on! Pretend I'm your child, Lois! Not Meg, not Meg! Well, at least Joe gets to be a cyborg. Free 
Please, Frogmire! You are out past curfew and therefore in violation of local ordinance. Ribbity. Bonnie, I forgot my solo flex. Yo, Joe. What the hell are you doing here, Pansy? We're gonna break your legs, Joe. It's for your own good. Come on, guys, get him! All right, then. Buddy, what the hell? Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. <gasps> my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. <laughs> Damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. <gasps> for God's sakes, just give me the gun! I'll do it myself! Okay, Mrs. Swanson, you're almost there. Push! Push! Get out of there! Get the hell out of my wife, you little bastard! <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on, the wheelchair is coming first. And here's the baby. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! This is my wheelchair! There are many like it, but this one is mine! Without me, my wheelchair is useless! Without my wheelchair, I am useless! Shut up! Okay. Hey, wait, wait, guys! Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. First step. <laughs> hey, Joe, what you doing? You out for a walk? I hate this block. I've been a bad, bad girl I've been careless with a delicate man And it's a sad, sad world When a girl will break a boy just because she can I'm broken Joe, open the garage I've earned this private time! All right, if we're gonna break out of here, we gotta get past these guards. Well, I got an idea. It won't be pretty, but bear with me. Oh, oh, oh no, I fell out of my wheelchair! <laughs> Don't help me! I need to do this on my own! Oh, oh, this is so humiliating. I'm about to be an adult man crying! <laughs> can't walk. Why the hell can't I walk? This isn't part of the act anymore. Right on! Let's do it! Rock that world! Rock that world! Yeah! Come on! Let's go! We can do it! Let's go! You want me to be the one who says jiggity now? Close your eyes and clear your mind. Okay, I'm seeing something. Joe, you were an octopus. Yes! Yes, this is so awesome! Damn it! So really, everybody, what what'd you think? You want to know what I think? W well, yeah. You son of a bitch! <laughs> it's a travesty! Oh you will Stop it! Come on, 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 I don't know about this, Joe. There is no fear in this dojo! Joe, we, we don't even know what a dojo is. There is no mercy in this dojo! Joe, why don't you take it down a notch? No mercy! Hey, guys, check it out. I peed my name in the snow. Jeez, Joe. That's oh, she is just so smoking hot! God, I would do things to her that... She would probably laugh at. You bitch! Oh, oh my legs! Another train! Ah, 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 what an odd clustered train schedule! Hey, sorry you got paralyzed, Joey. That's uh, all right. Thanks for going all the way back to the junkyard to get me this wheelchair. Men, form up Crippletron! 
There's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding. You suck. No, just kidding. You suck. Queer. Queer? Ah, well, there goes my smile. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Don't live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Hey, Joe, can you keep an eye on the place? I might as well. I'm melted to the ground. There you go, Mr. Swanson. These ought to keep the rats away. Thanks, hon. Stay in school! Bring it on! Oh, good lord! Is that? Duty! I'm doing the dishes, Joe. I'll change you in a minute. Yeah, hey, Joe. What's going on? Oh, hey, I forgot. I brought you guys souvenirs from my trip to Vegas. They're t-shirts that say, I lost my shirt in lost wages. <laughs> and I'm a cop. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Hey, man, when you were a cop, did they did they let you use the siren? Yeah, it's part of the job. That's so cool. Hey, hey, when you were a cop, when you were going to a crime scene, did you go chung chung like Law and Order? No, oh, that would be very unprofessional. All right, all right. Oh, hey, check it out, man. When you were a cop, did you ever, you know, use your handcuffs when you were getting kinky with your girl? No, it's city property, so you're not really supposed to take those home. Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, hey, by the way, a bunch of us are going to kill you in the shower later. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Hey, not so fast, pal. Those are my clothes. Oh, come on. You heard him, fella. Take him off. Right down to the poop sack. What? You don't all wear a poop sack? Damn it, Bonnie! You lied to me about the poop sack! Oh, I can't do it. I'm... I'm so full. Full of what, estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go, chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it, eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? Eat it, Joe. No, eat no, it. no, yeah. I said I'm not hungry! <laughs> 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 